What are the upcoming changes to the MS101 exam and how would they affect you if you plan to go for it? Hello, I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. Exam MS101 is for Microsoft 365 Mobility and Security. So this is for you if you are a Microsoft 365 Enterprise Administrator. You should have a working knowledge of Microsoft 365 workloads and Exchange, SharePoint Teams or Windows 10 deployment. However, in the latest update, this seems to be widened to include Windows 11. You should also have some other fundamental knowledge such as Domain Name Service, Active Directory and PowerShell. So you can see that the exam will be updated on August the 3rd, 2022. And it comes in three big sections. First of all, implement modern device services 40 to 45 percent as of august the 3rd that will go down to 35 to 40 percent and it will be renamed plan and implement device services then we've got implement microsoft 365 security and threat management that will be upgraded to 25 to 30 percent and will be more directly named to make sure that you know that it is microsoft 365 defender so it's going to be called Manage Security and Threats by using Microsoft 365 Defender. And then finally, Manage Microsoft 365 Governance and Compliance. The governance is being removed from the title. However, there's still going to be information governance in this section. And it's going to now just be Manage Microsoft 365 Compliance, 30 to 35%. If you have a look at the exam skill outline, it's not so much a case of what have they changed, but what have they kept alone? So I'll take this first section, plan device management. It's now going to be called plan and implement device management by using Microsoft Endpoint Manager. So again, it's a lot more specific, even though we've got Microsoft Endpoint Manager in the bullet points. Now, why are they doing this? Well, you should note that the bullets that follow each of the skills are just illustrations. And so what they're doing is saying, OK, these are the important ones. Let's be more specific in the headings. So we won't look at all of the bullet points in detail because there are changes all over the place. But just to take this as an example, the plan device monitoring goes away, as does its implementation and integration with Azure Active Directory. So we're going to assume that it is already up and running. So you plan core management that is still there between endpoint configuration manager and Intune. But the next one plan for configuration profiles is being more specific. So you could say, well, is it just for Windows? Is it just for mobile devices? Actually, it's for all of them. So we've got for Windows, for Mac OS clients, for iOS and Android. And additionally, review and respond to issues identified in Microsoft Endpoint Manager. So that's a bit more specific than just plan device monitoring. It's actually review and respond to the issues. The next heading, Manage Device Compliance, becomes plan and implement device security and compliance by using Microsoft Endpoint Manager. And again, these bullet points become a lot more specific. Deleted from this, however, is the configure device compliance policy. This instead goes into a new section called deploy and manage applications by using Microsoft Endpoint Manager. And so this has plan and implement application deployment, protection policies, configuration policies, publish private and public applications by using Microsoft Endpoint Manager and monitor and troubleshoot application deployment. So this has been promoted essentially into a heading. Plan for apps. Again, this has been redesigned. So it's no longer create and configure Microsoft Store for business. There are a variety of Windows client deployment methods and tools. We include Windows Autopilot, USMT, Microsoft Deployment Toolkit and Windows Deployment Services. Indeed, this section is merged with the next one, Plan Windows 10 Deployment, as we have got things like Plan for Windows Updates and additional Windows Client Security features. And then finally, Enroll Devices goes away from the actual enrollment and Plan and Implement Device Enrollment. So we no longer have 
just the enable device enrollment, but the plan and implement the device join or the hybrid join into Azure Active Directory. We've got the plan and implement manual and automated device enrollment into Intune. We've also got plan and implement device registration to Azure Active Directory. So again, a lot more specific. When we get to the next heading, this is now all about Microsoft 365 Defender. And that shows, for instance, in this first heading, manage security reports and alerts by using the Microsoft 365 Defender portal. We then have a new heading, plan, implement and manage email and collaboration protection by using Microsoft Defender for Office 365. So we've got implement and plan policies and rules, review and respond to issues identified such as threats, investigations and campaigns and unblock users. Plan and implement threat protection with Microsoft 365 Defender has been expanded. You have to review and respond to endpoint vulnerabilities, risks on devices and exposure score. And then the next heading is no longer plan Microsoft Defender for cloud apps, but plan, implement and manage. So you have to review and respond to alerts and to the activity log. So really with a lot of these sections, it is case of, okay, it's the same basic sort of thing, but either expanded or given a different focus. In the next section, manage Microsoft 365 compliance, the plan for compliance requirements has completely gone. The manage information governance has been reduced. So you still have to plan and implement retention labels and label policies. You have to recover deleted data, but more specifically in Exchange Online and SharePoint Online, and you have to implement records management. However, the data classification has gone into this section, implement information protection, which again has been slimmed down. So you have to plan and implement data classification. You have to plan and implement sensitivity labels, and you also have to optimize label usage through Content Explorer, Activity Explorer, and label reports. So you can see a fair bit of this to do with Azure information protection and information rights management and Windows information protection has gone. Plan and implement DLP is still there, albeit that it's slightly more specific. It's now talking about plan and implement Microsoft 365 endpoint, for instance. And then finally, in manage search and investigation, the implement and manage insider risk management has gone. A clarification has been added. So it's not only e-discovery, but also advanced e-discovery that you have to do. Not only plan and configure auditing, but audit retention policies for Microsoft 365. And you also have to configure auditing in Azure Active Directory, including diagnostic settings. So if you are doing the MS101, you find that a huge amount has changed in terms of the headings, in terms of the bullet points. But the major things which have changed is that you no longer have to plan for compliance requirements. That entire section has gone. A huge part of the managed information governance and information protection has been reduced down. There is a new section called Plan, Implement and Manage Endpoint Protection by using Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. And this 20 to 25% has gone up to 25 to 30% to increase. You also have to plan, implement and manage email and collaboration protection by using Microsoft Defender for Office 365. And in the Plan and Implement Device Services, there is a lot more specifics. So about Windows, Mac, OS, iOS, Android, and also deploy and manage applications by using Microsoft Endpoint Manager. So if you are used to this current curriculum, then I would strongly suggest that you do this exam before August the 3rd, as a lot of the bullet points are either changing or being more specific, or indeed being added or deleted. Now, this exam is just one of three exams that you would need to do. If you wanted the Microsoft 365 Certified Enterprise Administrator Expert. So there we have the Microsoft 365 Mobility and Security. 
You've also got Microsoft 365 Identity and Services, and then one of these five prerequisite options, either Modern Desktop, Security Administrator, Messaging Administrator, Teams Administrator, and Identity and Access Administrator. So one of those five exams, plus the Identity and Services and Mobility Security certifications. So I hope you found this video useful about the MS 101. If you did, then please give this video a like. And why not subscribe and click that bell? That way you'll be notified of any new videos. I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. Thank you very much for watching and keep learning.